Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Pierre and this is Simple Home Brew. I'm doing a tasting on my own beers. Um, it's a Cooper's Draft with Morgan's Caramel with added, I think it was 50 grams of Amarillo hops as a dry hop to add flavour and um, a bit more hoppy aroma. And I'll tell you what, it worked. It worked really well. I got home from work today, grabbed a beer as you saw at the start, and here it is. It's a nice red hue. Uh, it's a little cloudy. But just beautiful. It looks really nice. I took a photo of it yesterday and put it on Instagram. Uh, I'm sure you guys saw it, whoever's following the channel. But I'm getting a... I mean, the Amarillo, as you guys know, it's one of my favourite hops. It's um, very citrusy-ish. Got a... It just, it just works, you know? It just works really well with this. And someone said to me, that's not going to work. But if, once I've aged it, what, three weeks? It's come out really good. That's the video I made uh, on this, and I'm sure I'm going to do this one again as well. It is really, really nice. The smell is beautiful. Like I said, it's got a real red hue to it. I didn't expect it to come out this red, but it's, it's quite nice. Um, the smell, again, I'm getting pineapple, uh, rock melon, obviously citrusy, like um, almost lime or uh, almost an orange smell, and malty, of course, very malty. It's very, very nice. It, it, it's very appealing as a scent. This taste. Yeah, definitely. It's got um, orangey flavour. Um, mostly orange. Uh, you got a little bit of, oh, what would you say? That would be mandarin. A mandarin, depending on what country you're from. Um, very, very hoppy, very, very, not strong, but a nice hoppy um, flavour. The, um, oh, it tastes great. It is so easy to drink. Um, it does have a bit of a salty aftertaste. It, it, it lingers a little bit on the tongue. I think that's got to do with the Morgans. I think the Morgans has a bit of a salty aftertaste. But still, it's very appealing. It, this is carbonated just perfectly as well, by the way. It just, um, just seems to... Run through there nicely. It's really carbonated well. I... Alright, calm down. <laughs> now I carbonated this. I put it on 30 PSI for about two days. Once it... Once it seemed like it had an, a little bit of carbonation through it, which it came from natural carbonation anyway, but I needed to add a little bit more. Then I took it to the fridge and placed it under 5 to 10 PSI, depending on, you know, how the gas works on my... Ref, um, my kegerator and sat it there for um, about a week and then turned the pressure off just turned it off completely in the, in the kegerator now I turn the serving pressure on only when I'm serving myself a beer I don't keep it on and it seems to stay beautifully and carbonated for a long period of time sometimes I might need to leave it overnight on a overnight but I tend to just turn that off most of the time so that's something to go by um, and at the moment it is serving beautifully it's not over carbonated and it's really fresh refreshing now I'm finding this easy to drink um, tasty very very nice if you guys want to do extract brewing like this it's it works a treat uh, I use as clean water as I can and it worked really well this is as good as those commercial beers you get out of the cans I'm so wrapped and please take my word for it this is really nice I'm so happy with this one. I am definitely going to do this one again. Um, I aged it about three weeks. I reckon about three weeks, maybe four. And that's all it needed. Uh, between that, around about two weeks in, it didn't taste great. It had a little bit of an aftertaste and a bit of a dirty sort of flavour in it. And I think that was the hops still trying to reduce and, and merge into the beer properly. And now it's just perfect. It is beautiful, guys. 
Try this one, it is awesome. Um, yeah, I'm really loving it. Guys, thank you very much for watching this channel. Thanks for being part of it. Cheers to my Patreon members, uh, the Facebook members. Good on you guys for supporting the channel. It is awesome and I couldn't do this without you guys. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and we'll check you out in the next one. Oh, by the way, I did a revamp in the, in the shed. It's changed if you've been following my channel. I don't have any shelves over here anymore. I've done a bit of work and that's coming up in the next few weeks. Uh, first video is this Friday. Cheers guys, see ya.